Hello there and welcome to this very special edition of Football Everyday. Yes, indeed, you are watching the Tiger FC gunning for glory, grand finale. And you know what? It's all done and dusted. We've got the two winners. All will be revealed in the second segment of this webcast. I'm Zach. In the studio with me, we've got the usual Football Everyday crew. We've got the fully fit Shabby Singh. He's raring to go. All right, mate. Good, yeah. We've got Darryl Go returning for his 500th appearance on Football Every Day. Good He's one back. of our Very stalwarts. Good to be back. Very good to be back. Fantastic, mate. And Nelson Nung, who apparently is carrying a bit of a slight hamstring injury, but he reckons he can last a 90 with a few pain-killing injections. Don't get too hooked on that, mate. I'll tell you what, very excited we are because we've had a party here at Studio V in Wanutama. And it's been a very exciting night. But before we get into all the gunning for glory business, we're going to start with some football chat. Mm -hmm. Of course, this week, top line in the conversation, the return of Alan Shearer to Newcastle United. Shabby, shock waves, mate. I mean, the legend returns. Yeah, uh, you know, it's taken too long. Uh, why has he now made up his mind when he could have made up his mind a couple of seasons ago? Mm -hmm. But never mind. I think, you know, he's uh, very, very shrewd with his uh, decision to come in now. Right. You know, eight games left, you know, relegation staring them in the face. He saves them. He becomes the new messiah. Forget mm -hmm. King mm -hmm. Kev, you know, King Shearer mm -hmm. is back. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, he's got the ability uh, to turn things around, or at least to ensure that they will remain in the Premier League. Okay. Well, well you know, you know, Daryl, we all know like how highly regarded uh, Shearer is held up in uh, the Northwest, especially in the Newcastle area. But here's a man with no experience, Daryl. I mean, he's got eight games. He's got a, obviously, he's got a monumental task, right? I mean, all I can say is basically, I mean, I would have looked at, I mean, uh, Harry Redknapp, but he's playing. I mean, he's with Spurs right now. I mean, you need someone like that, not Aaron Shearer, to be able mm -hmm. to get you. I mean, it's, it's going to be like a fairy tale if that happens. Right. If stay up. Yeah, yeah. I'm basically still looking at Newcastle going down. I mean, Nelson, what do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Zach in terms of the experience. Like, you know, he's not the most experienced of mm. managers around. Mm. But I think I also think it shows that the players, the club, kind of bit, bit kind of desperate. I mean, you know, to to mm. demand is that they want Shearer back. Is it too Hollywood you know? for you? Yeah, a little. So I. Not sure if it's going to happen. Well, to be honest, I mean, you know, uh, if somebody was to ask me to describe Newcastle's mm. season so far in one word, mm. I'll say joke. <laughs> well, you know what, Shabby? I mean, um, obviously, a lot of the Jordies out there would be disagreeing with you. But let me ask you this. Shira, he's been a pundit for the last uh, however many years since he retired, but he's got his coaching badges. I mean, would this stand him in good stead? I mean, do you need more than just coaching badges? You've got uh, eight games to go, you're in the bottom three. What do you do? I think so. I, I think it's it's fantastic for him because while he's been working on his coaching badges, you know, he's also been a football pundit, meaning you know he's been looking at the game mm -hmm. uh, through a, a different perspective. Right. Uh, and I'm sure that you know if he marry the two, he will be able uh, to become a better coach. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't think you know what is important is how many. It, he's not going to be a pilot. It's like not how many number of hours he's flown before he becomes a pilot. No, as a coach, it, it's that. I think a combination of uh, uh, playing experience, coaching badges and punditry will help him. And the fact that he's played at the highest level, you know, World Cups and whatnot, must stand him in good stead. Too, I think, right? you know, you cannot say that, you know, he will not be prepared or, or he's not ready. Uh, at the end of the day, as a, a first-timer, you need the, the slice of luck. And I think Newcastle at this moment in time, uh, are better than some teams. I mean, they're better than Middlesbrough, they're better than Stoke City, right. uh, West Bromwich are definitely going down, Hull City are falling like a stone. Mm -hmm. So I believe that, you know, uh, Shearer's timing is really good and Newcastle, like I say, you know, there are worse teams than them. Okay, okay. Bigger than the Beatles. Who am I talking about? Well, Liverpool, of course. Yes, and we have Liverpool to thank mm -hmm. because, you know what, this title race is one of the most exciting that we've had in years and it's mainly down the roughest men really uh, pulling up on Man United and giving them the scares. I mean, guys, and Daryl, mate, I mean, you're a hardcore Liverpool. You must be happy with the way uh, things have been progressing in the last month or so. I mean, I've been pleased with what's been going on right now. I mean, I, I guess... At the, the right time as well. It's like putting on the heat on Man United and see whether, basically, mm -hmm. let's see who's going to crack right now. You know I mean? They're all, all saying right. that, basically, Rafa was cracking I mean, way in January, right? Mm -hmm. And now let's see, I mean, look at uh, the uh, Man United team and they, let me take to the field against Villa this, mm -hmm. this Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure that to be on them. It's about time we had a uh, close uh, yeah. title. Oh, yeah, we, surely, we, right? need, we needed that. But, Daryl, you know, how much mm -hmm. of it, you know, or Liverpool's good form now is down to Rafa, Okay, who, who would you credit for, for what's happening now? The team or Rafa? I say the team. It's basically clicked into place and also because Rafa has not changed the team that much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright guys, you know what? We can talk about this forever but we're going to take a little break now. When we come back, we're going to meet the winners of the Tiger FC Gunning for Glory contest. They will be here talking to us so keep it right here. We'll be right back after these messages.
Hello there, welcome back to Football Every Day, a very special edition. You are watching the Tiger FC Gunning for Glory Grand Finale, and you know what? It's all done and dusted. We've got the two people who are going to go to the Emirates to watch Arsenal versus Chelsea. You know what? I'm going to pass it to the to Mr. Nelson Ng there. Nelson, how's the hamstring, we, mate? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Getting better, getting better. Yeah. We're joined by yeah, Mr. Arvin Raja and Miss Melissa Koo. Congratulations. congratulations. Big congratulations to you. Well done. Thank you. you guys, um, well done. I think um, Melissa came prepared as well. She's already got her Arsenal kit on. Fantastic stuff. You know, Fantastic I think, stuff. Yeah. Well, well, guys, thanks very much for entering the contest. Thanks to Tiger for staging the contest. And you guys done brilliant. I mean, uh, later on, we're going to take a little watch at the, at the footage of what happened mm -hmm. today. In fact, Guys, can, can, we, can we run the footage now? Yes? Okay. To, yeah, we're going to watch it right now. Amazing stuff there. In case you're wondering, those guys were rocking the FIFA 209 football game on the PS3. You know what? I'm going to rush out and buy one for myself <laughs> because that looks completely amazing. Kill all your spare time. But guys, I have to, uh, I have to start with you, Arvin. You, you emerged as the winner in a very tightly fought kind of round-robin contest. Did you feel the pressure, mate? Yeah, it was. I felt the pressure in the third game when I was... Uh I lost the second game, so the third game was a very crucial one for me. I needed to do win. Or die. Yeah. It was do or die. Yeah. Uh, a minimum I could do was draw. Because I, 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 saw, I saw a few beats of sweat. Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I believe he lost to Melissa as well, yes, right? I lost yeah. Game. Yes. Yeah. She and, was and, good and, on the PS3. Uh, Melissa, I mean, uh, amazing performance from you. You came in as a bit of an underdog, shall we say. But everyone who watches this podcast knows Zach Yusuf loves underdogs. You were the one I was picking to win. How do you feel about uh, your performance over the course of the round robin? Um, totally unbelievable. I started off a bit slow. I was a bit nervous, but later on, I tried to calm myself down and yes. well. I think okay. the pivotal match was uh, the one where you went one nil down early, but you composed yourself because you just needed a draw. Yes. And uh, that was an amazing performance, you know, back against the wall stuff. Yes. yes. Would well, you consider Would you yourself a, a pro on a PS3 now? No, absolutely not. <laughs> a long we, way to go. How, how are prep preparations like for you guys? Um, you know, uh, before tonight. For me, I, I just played about twice or once. <laughs> wow. Because because my friend just bought a PS3 the other day, right. so he just borrowed me. I just practiced like twice. Okay. Okay. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I've got, but but Shavia, I think you had a question to ask Melissa. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, after you know uh, doing what you already did, you know, you went through a lot of uh, different emotions. Um, would you do it again? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Good sport. Uh, well, well, guys, you know, obviously, you know, the upshot of all this is that you are going to go to London, rock and roll city. Yes. You're going to go to North London. In fact, you're going to go to Emirates. I've been there. It's a lovely stadium. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, I feel excited. Uh, really want to see how football is live. Right. Uh, the atmosphere in Emirates Stadium. Yeah. Talent in the Arsenal team and the Chelsea team. Right. International players in Chelsea's team. You know, you know, you know, you know Darryl, Darryl, Darryl travels regularly to watch right. games. So maybe Darryl, you can clue them up on like, I want to expect atmosphere. Well, I, would, I would say basically, I mean, uh, Emirates Stadium is, is the best stadium in the Premier League at, at this moment in time. Until, I mean, Spurs build their stadium. <laughs> <laughs> but, what was that? Uh, 2053, <laughs> yeah. right, Chevy? That is. 
but definitely lots of fun. That's I mean, look at the quality <laughs> on board. Yes, uh, and the way Arsenal play is flowy football. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely mm. a chance. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think Shabby mentioned earlier a very, very funny comment. He said, like, you know, it, it might be the case where uh, both teams are vying for four spots. So, uh, yep. uh, what do you, what so, you think so. about that? Uh, hopefully, Arsenal <laughs> qualifies for Champions League. Like. By then, and, and then Chelsea qualifies for UEFA Cup or something like that. Okay, I like well, this. We, you know Definitely. what, guys, we're going to take a little break, but I want you guys to stay on and help us preview this weekend's Premier League matches. Will you do that for me? Right, no problem. All right, so we're going to take a little break. We'll come back after these messages. So, keep it locked. Hello there and welcome to this very special edition of Football Every Day. Yes indeed, it's the Tiger FC gunning for glory grand finale. It's all done and we have the winners. The people that are going to go and watch Arsenal versus Chelsea in May at the Emirates. Arvin, Melissa, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, right, we're going to move away from the whole gunning for glory thing. We're going to take a look at this weekend's games because after international football, you know, you're pining for premiership football. It's coming back this weekend. We got a full fixture list. We're gonna start with some choice matches, right? I think for me, Fulham versus uh, Liverpool. Very exciting game, you know. Sheppy, the last time we watched the Fulham match, what happened, Sheppy? <laughs> some amazing things I mean, happened. Didn't I mean, it? will be very unhappy. You could say <laughs> yes, I know. Obviously, a Man United <laughs> supporter, and he <laughs> wouldn't like this part, the conversation. But, but Sheppy, yeah, coming, coming to this one, I don't think Fulham will have. Uh, uh, an easy game as they did against Man United. I mean, yeah, there's more yeah. about Liverpool. Uh, Fulham could still be, you know, riding on that glory. Mm -hmm. No, it's not going to be uh, that easy. I do expect Liverpool to win and win comfortably. I'm looking at maybe minimum of two or three goals for Liverpool. Wow, so the no hope for the cottages at all. On this one. No, oh, I, I've what, never rated. What, what, what Daryl loves the underdog, right? You always support the little. I mean, look, the miracle of Craven Cottage. Can it happen two weeks in a row? Ah, well, I don't think so, man. Because I mean, Liverpool is going to come I mean, over there basically me one thing to basically put the pressure on Man United. They go top if they win, and that basically will stand a statement. Oh, yeah. and uh, I mean, I mean, Danny Murphy he used to be one of my favorite players. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm missing. <basically laughs> I'm, I'm going to go for I mean, a Liverpool win. Liverpool win. Nelson, mate. I mean, the as the only un only one of two United guys on this <laughs> panel here. I mean, the Craven Cottage defeat big blow the United's chances, but. If any team knows how to win a Premier League title, it's Man United. They're used to the pressure, right? Yeah, of course, but I, I tend to agree with Chabby and Daryl. I mean, as much as Fulham were good against United, you know, in the 2-0 win, I don't think they're going to do the same So you're not expecting Liverpool. any favours from... Uh, uh, well, I'm hoping for at least the draw. A draw would be good enough, you know, but I think Liverpool's going to win, even if it's by a goal. Uh, do, you, do you echo that, Alvin? Yeah, oh, definitely. I think Liverpool win by 3-1. <laughs> not time game at all, not time at all. I don't think so. So, so no favours from the yeah, Fulham then? No, I don't think so. Okay, fantastic Arsenal stuff. City. Well, I'll tell you what, another game that really catches my eye is Arsenal, uh, who are going to square up against Man City. And, uh, you know, people who watch uh, Premier League regularly will remember the last time these two teams met in the Premiership, City upset the apple cart 3-0. Spanked <laughs> spank them, thank you, Daryl. Spanked them on the Eastern Spring. And I want to ask Melissa, yeah. sorry, Shen. Melissa, mate, do you think that can happen again? I mean, Arsenal, uh, they're looking for a bit of revenge in this one. Yeah, surely. I think it's payback time. And payback with our players time. coming back, yeah. Adebayor, Eduardo, maybe 2 0, I'd say. Because Rubinho isn't all that. Yeah. Right? I mean, 30 odd <laughs> yep. million, right? Yes. Not, not, not such Fabregas level, surely. Definitely not. No uh, one's Fabregas level. <laughs> well, what do you think, Shebs? I mean, do you think uh, Arsenal. Can she I think, teach them a footballing lesson? I think Arsenal will be thinking they're going to do, they're going to do that because Man City, I mean, they always get a nosebleed every time they leave the city yes. of Manchester. <laughs> yes. But I think this time is different because of the brand of the football. Arsenal love to play a passing game and Man City will welcome that. Yeah. You know? So mm -hmm. based on that, I think Man City will not lose this game. 
I, I think al when allowed to play, Man City can pass yes. the ball as well as anybody, and they've got the individual uh, players. Uh, Bellamy is coming back, you know, uh, Dijon, uh, Kompany coming back. I, I think. I think it'll be a, a very difficult game for Arsenal. But you know, Chefs, right? One of the main bugbears of the whole season has been like the thing that we've been criticizing the most, really, City's away form. They're, they're horrible on the yeah, road. Yeah, that's right. But they're horrible on the road when they have to play against a team that doesn't play football, uh, against teams that fight and fight and fight. And Man City don't like that. We all know Robinho. Mm -hmm. You know, you just knock into him once, 90 minutes, he disappears. But against teams that pass the ball, they can do it uh, as well. I mean, ask Liverpool. Well, well, yes. well, great prediction, Chefs. Yeah, I'll be looking for you come Monday if it all goes pear shaped. Well, so I really <laughs> had my neck chopped off so many times. I don't even have one anymore. Alright, then quickly before we wrap this up, I just want to get through one game quickly. Uh, Man United Villa. I mean, this is come oh, on. Yeah. This is the punch <laughs> match, man. Nelson, surely they can't afford another defeat if they, they got any hopes of re retaining the Definitely title. not, especially if, as Daryl said, Liverpool beat Fulham, they'll be top. So United definitely got to win. Nothing less than a win will do against Villa. All right, man. Score okay. prediction, bro. 2 0 Man U. 2 0 Man U. We're going to come back. I think it'll be a tight game, 2 1. Tight game, 2 1. Melissa, mate? 1 0. We need Manchester United to beat Villa. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's still enforceable. Well, well, I tell you what, just before we go, we go, we go, we're almost at the end of time now, but just before we go, I, I'd like to thank. Uh, it's been a great season of uh, football every day. We've had lots of fun. So thank you very much, Tiger FC without whom uh, this won't be possible. So uh, I'm sure you guys are very happy to go to Emirates. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, from Football Everyday Crew, we are going to be back. We will be back really soon. Uh, so keep it locked on, keep supporting us. We'd love to hear uh, your comments and your feedback. Uh, you want to send us an email, Nelson? Where do you send so, email? Send it to football at the star .com my. Exactly. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your football. Until we meet next, goodbye.